I was very happy that uh, Prince William agreed to be on the cover of my last issue of Attitude. I'd written to him a few years ago when I was looking at all of these issues about mental health and the higher rates of mental health problems in LGBT people. I was particularly upset having to constantly interview parents of children who had died, who had either killed themselves or died from an overdose after years of bullying. And I, and I just have always felt very frustrated that it's always seen as a, as a gay issue. It's not a gay issue. The, the bullying of children is an issue for everybody, and especially even more so for straight people, because most gay kids, most LGBT kids, are the children of, of straight people. Yes, gay people, more and more of us do have kids, but in terms of numbers, I'm sure, certainly, you know, more of those kids are, have, have straight parents. So I really wanted to send a signal to society that straight people need to be part of the solution. They need to stand up, at, go to school, go to the, talk to the, the teachers, the headmasters, headmistresses, and say, we, do you have these policies? Do you, are you addressing uh, homophobic and transphobic bullying? And so who better to send that message than the future King of Eng England? So I was absolutely delighted when he agreed to be on the cover. So we got the call, which was very exciting, and we took nine LGBT plus people into Kensington Palace, where Prince William lives, and to meet him on the 12th of May. And it was very, very exciting. Everyone was very nervous. Uh, I've worked with lots of big celebrities, you know, Madonna and Elton John and Matt, you know, lots of prime ministers, but when you meet royalty and certainly the future King of England, and when we're discussing something so important as bullying and its effect on mental health, it was very nerve-wracking, but Prince William was absolutely lovely. He couldn't have been nicer or kinder. I think he's very aware that people are a little bit nervous meeting him, so he makes a real effort to put everyone at ease, and he was very, very engaged with the subject matter. He's very concerned about the disproportionate levels of mental health problems in the LGBT plus community, and he said to me, I want you to convey to your readers that I care and that I want to help, and that was... You know, it was a historic moment and it felt very moving and very powerful and it was very uh, exciting. I'm very grateful that it happened. Well, I hope that Prince William being on the cover will send a message all around the world that homophobia and transphobia is something of the past, that it's dying out. It, it's, it's no longer tenable for people to be homophobic and transphobic and to show that, you know, if you know, somebody who's going to be the head of a country like Britain says it's no longer acceptable, then things are, are changing and I hope that it means that maybe in more conservative places and amongst more conservative people they will have that discussion and that hopefully parents will see that you know it's not about sexualizing children to talk about you know children identifying as LGBTQ or whatever it may be it's about just acknowledging that those young people are going through those experiences and they deserve to be protected and they deserve to be supported and, and, and it's just common decency that we protect all children and I hope that that sends that, that message. Mm. No, I didn't talk to him about the book. Um, I was going to um, draw it on my forehead so that everyone could see it, but no. But I think that we were talking about um, the issues which the, which the book talks about. So it's a huge gift that, that this has happened and that uh, His Royal Highness has, has chosen to engage with this subject as the book is coming out. They knew the book was coming out and I'm very grateful that they, that they chose to, to, to do this, to have this discussion and to hear these young people talking about their experience of bullying and to hear them saying, you know, that they, some of them had eating disorders or had self-harmed or had tried to kill themselves because of the, the homophobic and transphobic bullying they had experienced and to hear the future King of England witnessing that and hearing that and showing that he was concerned about that was overwhelming and felt like it was something that hadn't really happened in this country before, so it was very powerful.